So guys, that was the trick that we will learn today. If you liked it, as always, let me know with a huge thumbs up on this video and of course a free subscription on the channel. Unfortunately, most of you watching this are not subscribed yet, so do so right now and support the channel. Now, this is probably my favorite card trick that utilizes a rubber band. And yes, these are the only two things you will need for this effect. Once you have the rubber band, just place it on top of your card case and have any card selected. Whichever card is selected, in this case the Seven of Hearts, it has to be controlled to the bottom of the pack. Of course, you can use any technique that you want. In my performance, what I did was pretty simple. After having a card selected, I tilt the deck so the spectator sees it from this view. And from the back, what I do is the following. I use their selection to push some cards from the center so they are being out jogged from the front, giving the illusion of the card really going into the center. However, after having done so, I take the seven of hearts and I just place it to the bottom of the pack and push it in. Now from the spectator's point of view, because the bag is tilted, it gives the illusion of the card really going into the center of the pack. However, it is on the bottom. Again, you can use any card control that you want controlling the card to the bottom of the pack. Now we start with the main part, which is wrapping the rubber band around the deck. Of course, something sneaky is going on here. You take the rubber band and show it, and as you do so, you catch a pinky break above their selection. Instead of wrapping the rubber band through the whole pack, the rubber band goes into the break and then around all the cards like this, meaning the bottommost card is completely free. Once you're in this position, you're gonna take the rubber band, stretch it to the side. Now you will give it a twist towards the spectator and you will grab the topmost strand, which is this one over here, with your middle finger and pull it down. Now you twist the rubber band back to yourself and you loop this around the pack and notice this is now the topmost strand on top of the pack. Don't panic, I'm gonna show this to you again in a moment. At this point, you're almost done. Notice your middle finger is still on the bottom and it is inside the loop. Before you let go with this, I like to just pull with my middle finger to tighten the loop and then I release it slowly as I place it on top of the table. Now, the pack looks like wrapped, nothing happens, looks very ordinary. However, the only thing that keeps this look wrapped is this loop being trapped in another loop, so to say. Meaning, if I just play around with this part right over here, you'll see it releasing the whole thing and it is now wrapped around one card only, which is their selection. Now, let me show you the whole procedure of wrapping the card up close one more time so you can replicate it. So guys, that's basically how you use a rubber band to wrap the pack, right? And keep in mind, the topmost strand is the last strand that goes on top. This is gonna be important because after you have placed the cards on the table, show your hands empty. I really like to place it on the table. It's a subtlety to show it is really wrapped without mentioning it really. I show my hands empty. I lift them back up. Now I have to get my pole through one of the strands on top of the pack, right? Before I do so, I make sure that I have a very firm grip on the deck. So if the rubber band, the loop releases automatically without me wanting to, I can just press with my middle finger here and I can prevent it from shooting to the bottom, right? So hold it pretty firmly. Now you want to get your hand through the topmost strand of these two. If you get it through the bottom one, it won't work, at least with me. So I'm gonna go through the top one. And the top one is the last strand that you put on top. Very important, if you fail, this might be the reason, right? So lift up the rubber band and get your palm through. Now, as I lower my hand on top of the pack, I grip it very firmly right here and I let go with the other hand. 
This is now releasing the loop here, as you can see it is gone. So I'm basically holding everything in place with this hand only by pressing on the short edges. If the loop is not being released, the only thing that you have to do is this, right? So as you let go with this hand, just do this. Of course, I'm just exaggerating, right? So just do this and it will release it automatically. Now I just have to release the pack on top of the table and the bottommost card will shoot onto the back of my palm, just like this. This is just such a visual moment where you have just one facing up card that sort of melts through all the cards and jumps onto your back palm. It's just such an incredible moment. You will love it, I'm pretty sure, not only you, but also your spectators. And this basically, guys, is the explanation for this effect. The whole secret is just wrapping the rubber band around the deck. It is something that you can master within minutes of practice. Very simple to do. I'm sure you'll love it. Perform it. Amaze your spectators. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave comments. All those things to support the channel. That's it. I hope to see you next time.